In this video, I'm going to show you how to comp your vocal in Logic Pro X. I gotta be real, comping vocals can sometimes suck. You hear all the imperfections in your voice. When you get in the studio, it's unforgiving. But if you hang with me through these next couple of videos of comping up this vocal, we'll get to the tuning process and really get this thing sounding good. I'm trying to show every step of the way of what it sounds like without just cutting all to the fancy edits and everything that just sounds good and tuned. I want you guys to understand the process of building out a record and where it starts and where it ends up. And ending up with an awesome vocal starts with a good comp. So let me show you guys how to comp your vocal in Logic Pro X. All right, with each individual pass, Logic Pro created track folders. That way we can expand these folders with this click of a button here. You can see each one of these passes. To select the portion of the pass that I want to use, make sure that this tool is taking. It has three little dots here. If you don't see this tool, you won't be able to select anything because it's more, it's an edit function. It has the scissors there. You can move and cut passes. Make sure when you're selecting passes that you have the three little icons that are here that let you know that you can drag your mouse over each section that you want to try out and select which pass that sounds best for the take. So let's dive in here and start selecting some takes. Just a slight little compression on this vocal as I comp this. So I'm just going to throw a little quick compression up here. We'll dive deeper into this later, but I just went in here, selected the Logic Stock Compressor Vintage FET, and brought the threshold down a little bit. Here we go. Ain't no turning around. Remember that's what you told me. Usually when I comp, I only like to take it a few words at a time. That way I'm not overwhelming myself with a whole pass. And I can really zero in on which words that need a different take. Ain't no turning around. Remember that's what you told me. I'll select the take below. Ain't no turning around. Remember that's what you told me. Ain't no turning around. Remember that's what you told me. And to make it easier, instead of clicking the playhead each time, I can loop this section up here. And I'm just clicking where this yellow bar appears. I'll click bar five. I'll drag this back. Make sure that it's only looping the part that I want to hear. That way when I'm selecting these takes, it won't go past the section that I want to listen to. Ain't no turning around. Remember that's what you told me. Ain't no turning around. Remember that's what you told me. Ain't no turning around. Remember that's what you told me. Ain't no turning around. Remember that's what you told me. How could I let you down? How could I let you down? Like you don't even know me. Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to, I'm probably thinking about you. Try not to, I'm probably thinking about you. So if I like a certain section of a take, even if it's wordy, I'll try to pull the most emotion I can out of each of these takes, which is why I took so many. So I'll go ahead and listen through all of them, even if I feel like a take is probably worthy of being the one that I'll use. I'll definitely listen through and make sure there's not uh, a different word or pronunciation that I'm missing. Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to. Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to. I'm probably thinking about you. So I definitely like the ending of that. Let me try something new on the beginning. Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to, I'm probably thinking about you. Sounds pretty good, but let me go ahead and listen to the rest of this full take here. Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to, I'm probably thinking about you. It's pretty good. Let me take a couple more variations of the options here. Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to, I'm probably thinking about you. More? Like you don't even know me. 
Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to I'm probably thinking about you Like you don't even know me Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to I'm probably thinking about you Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to I'm probably thinking about you Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to I'm probably think Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to I'm probably think Try not to is the only thing I'm really looking for Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to I'm probably thinking about you I like the way that I sang it shorter there on the two part Here's the other option Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I try not to I'm probably thinking about you Yeah, that's for sure it, man So here's that whole first verse comped up Ain't no turning around Remember that's what you told me How could I let you down? Like you don't even know me Ain't no reason to rhyme, it's like the harder that I Try not to, I'm probably thinking about you. Awesome, that sounds pretty good. And again, y'all, that's not with anything but a compressor, a little bit of compression on that channel. No EQ, no kind of effects, no auto tune. I really like to comp my first vocal as raw as I can, that way I hear what's going in, and I can affect it later on and apply auto tune and other effects that make it sound awesome but for right now I just want to make sure that it's as perfect and good as I can get it from the raw source I think that's important so we'll skip on here to verse 2 and listen to what we got going on so I get fading away to forget what I ruined some things never change I like that immediately so I get fading away I like the way I pronounce away on that one Listen to this one. So I get faded away. It's more subtle. So I get faded away. More pitchy. So I get faded away. I like that one. So I to forget what I ruined. Some things never change. Some things never change. Some things never change. Some things never change So you know what I'm doing Probably thinking about you Probably wishing you were summer hmm. So you know what I'm doing Probably thinking about you Probably wishing So you know what I'm doing Probably thinking about you So you know what I'm doing Probably thinking about you Let's try this Oh, you know what I'm doing, probably thinking about you. This brings up a good point. If you want to edit in the middle of a phrase, make sure you zoom in and find a point within this waveform. Let me get as big as I can here. That is either right before this section or somewhere in the in between. And listen, trust your ear more than you trust the visual. Oh, what I'm doing, probably. So, you know what I'm doing, probably thinking. That sounds pretty good to me, as if it was the same take. But sometimes, let me just go ahead and make it awkward here. So you know what I'm doing, probably thinking. Actually, that sounded pretty good too, but sometimes it sounds weird if you cut the phrase off. You know what I'm doing, probably thinking. These are blending pretty good. I'm doing, probably thinking about you. A little pitchy, but I know that I can fit fix that here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and trim this off. I'm basically. Pressing Command, selecting my mouse, and dragging the section, hitting Delete, and collapsing that folder. So we got a verse, two verses comped. 